I'm now going to show you how to record a payment using QuickBooks online. Let's stick with example customer one and we have this invoice that has appeared, has starred in a number of these videos. Invoice 1013. Okay, so let's record this as paid. How do we do it? Well, we simply go to the invoice and then there's an action column here that says receive payment. It's as simple as clicking on that and filling in the details. You'll notice there is a drop down list here. So if yours doesn't say receive payment, it could be that the receive payment shows in this drop down list. So receive payment. We fill in the details. So the payment date, let's say it was paid yesterday. The payment method, we have cash, check, credit card, debit card, direct debit. If your payment method isn't showing, you can simply click add new and add that method. A reference number, if you want one, and then deposited to. This is the bank account that you want to select. So if it was paid into the Barclays business account, the business current account, the business checking account, click that. If it was paid by cash into like the till, there should be a till account. Once again, if it's not showing, just click add new and add that bank account to QuickBooks Online. You'll see that the invoice is ticked. This is invoice 1013. Because it's ticked, we have a payment of 250, which is the full amount. If the invoice is part paid though, then just change the amount in the amount received. So if 125 was received, you'll see that 125 will now be allocated to the invoice, not the full 250. But let's do, let's do 250 in here and click save and close. This invoice will now be marked as paid. You can see the status was open. It's now paid and in green. And we have our payment showing on the 2nd of December. So let's do another one. So if I add an invoice, let's do an invoice on the 1st. Put in the details, put in the amount. Let's say this is a big one, two and a half thousand euros, pounds, dollars, whatever it is. Click save and close. We now have another invoice on here, which is 1014. If I click receive payment, let's do a part payment this time. Let's say a thousand was paid on the first. Great, save and close that. A thousand has now been allocated to the account and you'll see that the invoice is no longer open, but partial. And you can see that the balance of the invoice is 1500. It was two and a half thousand. It's now one and a half thousand because a thousand has been allocated to that. If I click receive payment again, perhaps we can do another part payment of 500, which was on the second. Once again, we can fill in these details. It was paid to the bank account. It was paid by credit card. You know, whatever actually happened is what you need to record. Save and close. We now have another part payment on the account, which is here, 500. And now only a thousand is outstanding. With this invoice, it's still partially paid. Let's do one last one for today, the 3rd of December. It's almost Christmas. 1,000. Save and close. That is now done. So there's nothing outstanding on the account. We have zero. We have all of these payments and invoices showing. And that invoice that was showing as partial is now fully paid. As explained in previous videos, I'm really covering the basics here and covering covering it quite quickly. So if you do want something more in depth, then I do offer QuickBooks email support. All details are on my website. I also offer a QuickBooks mentor program so I can train you one-to-one -one and really give you very in-depth bespoke training. All details are on my website. In the next video, we're going to go through customer statements.